we may be able to make the case that this is the, the kever in all of Poland, and we'll explain. We're here at the kever of Rav Shalom Shachna of Lublin. Rav Shalom Shachna was the father-in-law of the Rama. Rav Shalom ben Yosef of Lublin, he was Nifta Rosh Chodesh Kislev, 1558. The Rama in his Chuvas and Simon Memhe writes about him, Gulas HaKoyseres, Ataras Teferes, the great crown of majesty, Gacheles HaNesheres, the last coal, Ner Yisrael, the candle of Israel, Oiro Yazher Kezayar HaShamayim, his light illuminates like the firmament, Hu Asher Noida B'Sha'arim Roish HaGibarim, the mightiest, mightiest warrior in Taira. He was one of the most prestigious students of Rabbi Yaakov Pollock. Just for a moment, Rabbi Yaakov Pollock was a central figure in all of Poland. He introduced a new method of Talmudic study called Pilpul. Now the truth is it's impossible to describe what Pilpul is. There is a dearth of original example of Pilpul, but basically it's a complex, convoluted approach using linguistic inferences to draw artificial conclusions. Basically it's um, intellectual gymnastics where they would build one premise upon another flimsy premise upon another one and to prove another concept. It wasn't really substantial in its rationale, but it was meant to sharpen the minds of the students. This was a methodology that was uh, rampant in Pol Poland. It was introduced by Rabbi Yaakov Palak. It was continued by Rav Sholem Shachna. It was defended by the Rama. The Maral was against it. The Kliyakar was against it. And this was a, a specific manner of learning. Now, when Rabbi Yaakov Palak was Nifter in 1530, uh, Rav Shalom Shachna was appointed the Rav here in Lublin, was appointed the head of the yeshiva in Lublin, and at that period in history, thousands of Talmidim flocked to Rav Shalom Shachna's yeshiva. He had one of the greatest yeshivas ever in the history of Poland. Among many of his prominent students, he had the Rama, uh, who later became his son-in-law. Says Rav David Ganz that Rav Shalom Shachna was the greatest scholar of his dar. Says the Rama in his notes of Yisoyed Oilam, all great Polish rabbinical scholars were students of uh, Rav Shalom Shachna. In the Sefer She'eris Yisrael, this is Lo Yeuman Ki Yisupar. It's amazing. He brings then the Ramah's personal Gemara Masechta Sanhedrin, Daf Tzadik Ches Beis, where the name of Mashiach is, is mentioned in the Gemara. The Ramah says, in my opinion, the name of Mashiach is Shachna. Like the Pasuk says, L'shichna Yisidrishu, you'll seek out Shachna. That's the esteem that the Ramah held his Rebbe. Well, one year in Lublin on Erev Pesach, there was some dirty water that was spilled on the bishop who was holding a cross. And they wanted to murder the whole city because they felt that they were disparaging the, the bishop. And they made up their mind that the whole city needed to um, be killed. Basically, the bishop gave eight days to either to hand over that Jew or the whole city would be in danger. Now, the halacha is you can't hand over, over anyone, even at the expense of the whole city being killed. So, on the Shvi Shel Pesach, unbeknownst to anyone, an unknown, an unknown man walked into the shul. The shaman said, who are you? He said, I've come to save the city. I've come to offer myself to save the city of Lublin. And until today in Lublin, a kelmole is made for this unknown savior, Bishvi Shel Pesach. Well, Rav Yaakov Palak, who instituted Pilpul, he had a practice. He did not write his psukim down. He did not record his psukim. Um, in Shuvas Rama. Um, Simon Memhe, it's also brought that Rav Shalom Shachna also did not write down his Psakim, and Rav Shalom's son, Rav Yisrael Shachna, who is also a Rav here in Lublin, says that his father did not write down his Psakim because of his great humility. He was so humble. He said, I know that if I record my Psak, people are going to be afraid to argue on me. I don't want people to be hesitant to argue on me. Every person should view the sugi and the halacha new without having the, the oil of having to deal with what I had said previously. Well, the Ramah writes in Simon Memhe, 
I have no respite. The hour has been grabbed away. And the holy aura and the holy ark has been captured, has been taken to the heavenly yeshiva. The light of the Golos, the breath of our nastral, the Rav of all Rabbonim, the Goin of all the Goinim, Nasi Yisrael, that it says about him, Bakesh Shalom Virod Fehu, about Rav Shalom Shachna, it is said, Lashich Noi Sidrashu, we always sought him out. Now on his Matseva, it says that Rav Shalom Shachna was Marbitz Torah for 40 years and he never took any money, he was never paid. It says over here, Isha Kim. Kadosh Venoira Asher Hirbitz Yisrael Taira Mikal Asher Lefanov Vehemed Talmidim. It's hard to see in, um, but the, the, we have over here the Nusach of his Matseva. So I just want to conclude by telling you something remarkable. In the few years that Rav Meir Shapiro led the Yeshiva Chachma Leblin. He, in a time of need, he would take his Talmidim to the ancient Beis Akvaros, especially to this Makoim, to the Kevrav of Shom Shachna. Rav Meir Shapiro would stand here many long hours praying for the success of his Talmidim because there was a tradition that in the lifetime of Rav Shalom, he said that after he would be gone, after he is gone, Nobody can say that they are the Rav of Lublin and subsequently any future Rav appointed here in Lublin had to come to this Makam first to ask Rishus from Rav Shalom Shachna. Another tradition which originated with the Chayz of Lublin is that if there's any distress, the Rebbe told people to come toward this grave. Says the Chayz of Lublin, all the other tzaddikim in Poland are not here anymore. They've sent their neshamas to Eretz Yisrael. The only tzaddik that remains in Poland is Rav Shalom Shachna, who took it upon himself to be the protector of Lublin. So when I say this is a, 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 a highlight place in all of Lublin, in all of Poland, that's because we have a tradition from the Chayza that the, that the Rav Shalom Shachna remains here as protection. Just to conclude, in the time of Rav Leibel Eger, there was a raging fire in Lublin, they could not put it out. Rav Leibel told his Talmidim, go to Rav Shalom Shachna's grave and say, you promised to protect Lublin, and they sent the minion here, and the kachava, the fire, stopped. So, it's a zuchus to be here at the, the kever, uh, the Ramasas of the greatest Marbetz Mar Torah in uh, his time and in all of Poland. And uh, he's a great baruch. Should be a male. Let's go. Should be a male. Let's go.